now let us discuss about simplex stop and wait protocol for noiseless channel or this can also be called as simplex stop and wait protocol for error free channel so noiseless channel or error free channel both are same only this concept comes under elementary data link protocols we have three elementary data link protocols such as this is the first protocol next we have two more protocols such as uh, simplex stop and wait protocol for noisy channel that is nothing but for error channel uh, and the third one is unrestricted simplex protocol in this video we are going to discuss about uh, this protocol uh, the name itself specifies the meaning simplex simplex means the data will be transmitted in only one direction so here let we have uh, two missions sender mission receiver mission so now sender can transmit data to the receiver but receiver can't send any data to the sender so that is about what is simplex simplex means the data can be transmitted from sender to the receiver in only one direction and the next one is stop and wait protocol so this is stop and wait protocol so stop and wait means sender sends a frame and stops and wait for acknowledgement from the receiver so after sender receives the acknowledgement sender can sends another frame to the receiver so why it is named as stop and wait sender sends a frame and then stops and waits for acknowledgement from the receiver for the corresponding frame that is to be sent after receiving the acknowledgement from the receiver sender can sends another frame to the receiver but this is simplex protocol simplex protocol means data can be transmitted in only one direction but here we have a flexibility that receiver mission can provide acknowledgement to the sender even though it is simplex transmission simplex means data will be transmitted in only one direction but here receiver has a flexibility receiver has a capability that it can provide acknowledgement to the sender okay so that's why it is named as simplex stop and wait protocol for noiseless channel so noiseless channel means there are no errors here so that means here uh, the communication channel is communication channel means the transmission data the transmission medium communication channel is error free error free so error free can also be called as noiseless communication channel is noiseless that means if sender sends a frame then that frame must be reached to the receiver successfully without any errors without any noise so that means that frame cannot be corrupted it is not possible to make any changes on the frame that frame won't be lost so that is the meaning of the word noiseless channel or error free channel so in this protocol the communication channel is error free so that if sender sends a frame to the receiver then that frame will be successfully received by the receiver so there are no errors in that frame okay so that's why it is named as a noiseless or error free channel but here the problem is it suffers with flow control flow control we know what is a flow control what is a flow control here the problem is uh, receiver capacity is finite so here receiver has receiver has finite finite buffer space receiver has finite buffer space and the processing speed of the receiver the processing speed of receiver is also is slow so here flow control means let the sender sends data at a faster rate 
whereas receiver consumes data at slower rate so now here what is the problem here we have faster sender faster sender and slower receiver so sender is sending data at a faster rate whereas receiver is consuming the data receiver is processing the data in a slower rate so now what will happen what will happen some of the packets some of the frames that are sent by the sender will be lost will be lost why because sender is sending data at a very faster rate whereas receiver is consuming processing those frames at a slower rate so some of the frames will be lost now so this problem is called as flooding this problem is called as flooding so how we can solve this problem how we can solve this problem here we got this problem because of these characteristics receiver has finite buffer space so here the size of the receiver is finite very very limited buffer that we have and processing speed of the receiver is also very very slower so receiver consumes the data in a slower manner so what will happen some of the frames arrived at the receiver may be lost because sender is sending so many frames at the faster rate but at the receiver uh, the buffer space is very very limited so we can't store all those frames at the buffer okay so that's why we got a problem called flooding so how we can solve this problem how we can solve flow control problem in order to solve flow control problem acknowledgements are introduced acknowledgements are introduced so now what will happen sender is sending a frame to the receiver and then sender stops and waits for the acknowledgement from the receiver for that frame suppose if the receiver successfully receives that frame here there is no problem here we don't have any errors so let the receiver successfully receives that frame so after receiving the frame receiver provides acknowledgement to the sender so after observing that acknowledgement sender can determines that that frames or that frame was successfully arrived at the receiver so sender can send another frame to the receiver so here there is no loss of packets no loss of any frames why because we have acknowledgements sender can send another frame to the receiver only after receiving the acknowledgement for the previous frames so that is uh, about uh, how we can solve flow control that is uh, flooding problem by using by providing the acknowledgements at the receiver side now let's see how the how the data will be transmitted from sender to the receiver so here we have sender mission here we have receiver mission uh, here this is nothing but network layer data link layer physical layer at the receiver also we have network layer data link layer physical layer so first sender gets data from the its upper layers so at the network layer we have packets so sender gets packets from its upper layers okay so at the network layer sender received sender gets the packets from its upper layers so now what will happen is we know that in data link layer the corresponding data will be represented in the form of frames so those packets will be converted into frames now so now the task of the data link layer is it makes it prepares the frames and the corresponding frames will be transmitted to the physical layer physical layer now the physical layer at the sender mission sends the corresponding frames to the receiver so send frame so it sends the physical layer at the sender mission is sending the frame to the receiver so now what will happen the physical layer at the receiver receives the frame receives the frame receives some data so now what will happen data link layer will extracts the corresponding frames and transfers those frames to the network layer at the network layer the receiver mission uh, will gets the data in the form of packets 
in the form of packets so once the receiver receives the packet once the receiver receives the data now it has to provide the acknowledgement for the corresponding frame so that this is nothing but send frame send frame this send frame is nothing but acknowledgement it is a dummy frame it doesn't have any data so this send frame is this frame is nothing but acknowledgement so here the physical layer at the receiver machine is providing acknowledgement to the physical layer at the sender machine so now what will happen uh, yeah at the physical layer at the sender machine is providing acknowledgement to the physical layer at the sender machine so now now this uh, acknowledgement will be sent to the sender so by observing that acknowledgement sender can determines that that frame has successfully reached to the receiver <coughs> so now sender can send another frame to the receiver so very very simple first one get data next send frame <coughs> receive frame delivered de delivered data next after that it provides acknowledgement so this is nothing but acknowledgement okay now the sender receives the acknowledgement so after receiving the acknowledgement same process will happen sender gets another packet and uh, that packet will be translated into frames and data link layer sends the frames to the physical layer physical layer provides the frames to the frames to the physical layer at the receiver next uh, the corresponding data is delivered to the receiver okay so this is about uh, simplex stop and wait protocol for uh, noiseless channel in the next video we will discuss about uh, simplex stop and wait protocol for uh, error free channel